Hi, welcome to Movie Theater. The movie opens in a post-apocalyptic world. A small area flourishes with life with a glass building in the middle. We see a sign that says no trespassing allowed. A lone scavenger tries to sneak in and gets shot in the head. Three girls, B, her sister Evie and B's daughter, Daisy, come and loot valuables from the corpse. They wear protective masks to not breathe in the toxic air. They take his organs before dumping his body in a shallow grave. Inside, the girl's brother, Gabe, is waiting for them without protective gear on. The girls come in and tell him to stand back. It's revealed that Gabe has had memory loss from the toxic air outside called the Shred, which makes people forget their memories. The family refers to the people outside as the Forgetters. Gabe has been exposed to the Shred at a very young age and can't do basic things like red and even using the toilet during the night. They all gather around their mother who takes care of them and has given them strict orders on what to do with outsiders who trespass. B's daughter, Daisy, wants to see an animal and reveals that her uncle, Luca, has ran out of the sanctuary and she hopes he will come back and tell her stories. The family practices ritualistic acts in order to keep their plants and trees growing and giving them clean oxygen. They bury the organs of the killed trespassers in the soil as a sacrifice. The next day, B stands guard with her rifle when she spots another stranger approaching. He takes off his gas mask before passing out. She decides to bring him into the glasshouse, with the premise that he might have information regarding Luca. Evie sees her sister and warns her that she is breaking the rules, but B is determined and wants to save the man's life. They bring the man to their mother who is angry that they broke the rule of bringing in strangers. But she relents and decides to help the stranger, as he is already inside. She teaches the girls how to stitch a wound as she patches the stranger's leg. The mother then straps Gabe and the stranger's ankle. In the morning, Gabe wets his bed and is scared and shocked. The girls wake up and go clean up his sheets. B is condescending about cleaning after Gabe each time. Evie stays and helps to wash her brother's private parts. They then change the stranger's bandages when B starts getting touchy. She asks Evie to go fetch some water while she remains and shaves some of the stranger's beard, who is pretending to be unconscious. He opens his eyes and B warns him not to try anything. The family gathers as the mother interrogates the stranger who can't remember his name. He came from the city to the east, but he says there is no place in there like this. He asks if they will let him go, but the mother says he might forget the kindness they've given him and put themselves at risk. He will remain and be put to work like the rest. Daisy asks the stranger if he has seen a kangaroo or a sheep in his travels, but he says that a kangaroo would be very hungry, as this is the only area with patch of green in three days' walk. The mother tells Daisy to take Gabe and put a special warning outside for other trespassers, using the body of the old one as a warning. They get to work as they cut the last intruder limb by limb, while B goes to and flirts with the stranger, giving him a plate of everything they grow so he can pick whatever he likes the most. Evie comes back to her sister, who is using any means she can to get Evie to leave so she can have her privacy with the stranger. Later, Evie warns her sister not to trust the stranger so quickly, but B says she feels like she already knows him more than enough. Daisy has another conversation about favorite animals with the stranger and after showing her what a horse looks like, he proposes to carve it for her with a knife, if she can bring him one. She quickly goes to the garden and steals a knife from the basket of her unaware sisters. The stranger carves the horse secretly when Gabe spots him. He shows how the pieces connect and gives it to him to try, but Gabe struggles with basic tasks, including that, and gets very upset. He starts breaking and trashing everything around him, as the family rushes in to calm him down, but they are unable to as Gabe goes completely out of control and hits B, which prompts Daisy to unlock the chains to the stranger's ankle, who goes to help and restrain Gabe. They eventually calm him down and defuse the situation, with the mother letting the stranger walk freely. Later in the night, the stranger joins B by the mirror. She calls him Luca before he corrects her and tells her that he can't be him, as he doesn't feel for her the way a brother should. She says that means he is Luca. The next day, the stranger, B and Daisy work in the garden when he goes to fetch a brush from the seed shed and sees Evie in there. He tries to have a friendly conversation with her and asks her about her memory box, a game she used to play with her brother Luca. Evie does not trust the stranger and is angry that he's essentially replacing her by being around B and Daisy. The mother confronts the stranger and tells him that everyone has a role to play and suggests that the stranger's role might be to impregnate B. Later, B is on guard duty alongside the stranger when she spots someone approaching. She aims to shoot, but the stranger starts distracting her by touching her sensually. She still takes the shot and kills the trespasser, which the girls disembody afterwards. Evie goes in the garden when she spots B and the stranger having sex. 
Her memories flood her as she remembers seeing the same image before, but with Luca instead of the stranger. She runs away just as the stranger spots her. She goes back to work on the garden when the stranger approaches and asks her if she liked watching, which prompts her to throw a tool at him. She tells him that his tricks might work on B, but not on her, as B wants Luca back too badly to see the truth. She leaves after warning him to stop manipulating B as her mind is fragile enough. The stranger sits down and uncovers Evie's memory box under the dirt. He sees Luca's letter necklace inside and takes it with him. Later, the family gather for their daily ritual, but Evie stops her mother, saying the ritual is sacred and that the stranger doesn't belong here. B protests, saying Evie is the only one disrupting the ritual. The liar and the cheat that the stranger is, takes out Luca's necklace and says he always kept it safe. Evie says he is using their memories against them and changes them, B most of all. Daisy protests, saying she should just let him be Luca, but Evie says they all live in a fantasy and if she let this go, they will all die. The mother finally speaks and says she expected more from B as the eldest, but her feelings for Luca have betrayed her. B, in return, throws the blame back on Evie for spying on her with Luca in the past and being irresponsible for not watching over Gabe, which led to him being exposed to the shred. Evie storms out of the room and later joins her mother in her bedroom. She confesses that she is angry because she feels like the only one who cares about the truth. Her mother tells her to put her trust in her, as she has always kept the family safe and will continue to do so. She says once the child is born, Luca will be gone like he's always been and meanwhile, Gabe is wide awake and listening uncomfortably to the creaking sounds of the bed above as B has sex with fake Luca. The sounds can be heard by Evie and even by her mother in the other room. Daisy. What's that noise? The mother. It's the natural rhythm of things. Days pass by and B visits her mother one day and gets told that she needs to keep herself safe from the shred, as it's important for the baby growing inside her. She tells her that the leaves around them keep giving them fresh air to breathe, but sacrifices are needed, because the plants are not making enough oxygen to sustain that many people, including the lungs of the baby growing inside her. She tells her that she had her fun and that she must choose now between the fake Luca and the newborn baby. B starts screaming that she can't choose, which prompts Gabe to run outside in fear and without protective gear on. Fake Luca helps Evie and carries Gabe back in. B comes in and tells fake Luca to come with her as they have sentry duty together. She explains to him that her mother will make Luca leave as soon as the baby is born, but she can't allow that and suggests they escape together. Meanwhile, Gabe climbs in Evie's bed and starts humping her. She wakes up and stops him, but still lands him a hand. Later, Gabe and the stranger are working inside when the stranger deliberately tells Gabe that Evie's affection for him is out of pity, which prompts Gabe to throw a plank at him which breaks the window. They quickly seal the breach, so no real harm was done, but the stranger sits down with the mother and tells her that Gabe is a growing threat and that he might be better suited outside, as there is another child on the way that can take his place. But she has made her mind and tells the stranger it's time for him to go. The stranger goes to B, who is in the process of taking shower together with the other girls and she asks him to stay, as they are all family here. But he declines, saying it's his time for sentry duty. He goes and confronts the mother instead. He grabs and strangles her as she calls him an actor and that he hasn't seen who else is pretending. As she falls unconscious, he hits her on the head, killing her. He plants her dead body next to Gabe and cuts his restraints, making it look like Gabe killed her. He lashes out at the stranger as the girls wake up and storm the room, finding their mother dead, with the only evidence pointing to Gabe. As the girls mourn over their dead mother in the other room, the stranger restrains Gabe and opens the window. The stranger finally explains that after witnessing his parents and sister get exposed to the shred, he decided to take off his mask and forget as well, but the toxin never affected him. After seeing Gabe calming down, effectively forgetting everything that happened, he closes the window. Meanwhile. B looks at the memory box in the room and has a sudden burst of memories when she was on sentry duty one day. She signaled when an intruder appeared, to see if it was Luca or not, but when she saw the person was reaching for something, she shot him dead. It's revealed that the person she killed was in fact Luca, who was trying to use his flashlight to signal back. She took off her mask in grief and anger and buried the body outside, which she digs up and sees in the present. It's revealed that Evie knew and kept her secret all these years, making B believe that Luca was alive. Grief stricken, B wants to go back out there and forget everything, but Evie tries to stop her. The stranger appears and helps stop B. In the end, B exits out anyway, with the stranger telling Evie to let her go. 
They go back to Gabe, who is completely gone at this point and unresponsive. He comes back cheerful and as if nothing ever happened. Evie says the shred is taking them all and that she will be the only one left to remember, but the stranger says he won't forget either. They embrace each other and have sex. Meanwhile, B tells Daisy to stop wearing her mask and let Evie guide their memories, just like her mother did. Evie takes her mother's place as she performs the ritual in her place and vows to keep doing her work. It soon revealed that Gabe started wandering outside without a mask, completely oblivious to his surroundings, same as B, who is carrying her baby for a few months now. The final scene show Gabe digging in the ground when he uncovers two skeletons with the necklaces of B and Evie. It's revealed that the mother has kept the names and necklaces of the people that lived before as they took their place and identity. The stranger is on duty and looking over Gabe when he notices a trespasser approaching. He takes out his rifle, but changes his mind at the last second and shoots Gabe, whose mind is far too gone, in order to make room for the new arrival. And here movie ends. If you have enjoyed this video please hit the like button and subscribe our channel for more videos. Thanks for watching.